Welcome to this video where I'll show you how to calculate net present value using specific dates. In a previous video we showed how to calculate net present value using the MPV function. A limitation of using this method is that it assumes all the time periods are equal. This will give a less accurate result if you're trying to calculate the net present value for a project that generates cash flows at different moments in time. To overcome this, we can use the XMPV function. In our example, we have a project with an initial investment of £500,000 today and subsequent cash flows of £120,000 across the next 10 periods. We're first going to calculate the MPV using the regular function in order to compare this with the XMPV output. So we type equals MPV, first input the discount rates, followed by the subsequent cash flows, and then deduct the initial investment by adding 500,000 since this is already negative. However, this assumes that all cash flows occurred exactly one period after each other, which is not true. As you can see, the date when the cash flow was received varies from period to period. To account for this, we can use XMPV, first inputting the discount rate followed by all cash flows, including the investments, and the dates when they occurred. This returns a more accurate figure, which is almost £10,000 greater. Therefore, by using the regular MPV, we will have underestimated the MPV by a significant amount. Now, you may be wondering how the XMPV is calculated. To demonstrate this, we first need to calculate the days between when the cash flows occurred and today's date. So we're assuming that today is the 13th of March 2021, and we take the future date, which is the 1st of March 2022, and subtract today's date, adding an absolute reference to ensure that today's date remains static. We can then drag this formula across. So there were 353 days between period 0 and 1, 729 between period 0 and 2, and so on. Next, we can calculate the present value of each cash flow. For the initial investment, since it occurred today, which is period 0, this does not need to be discounted, and is therefore the same as the cash flow. For period 1, we take the cash flow and divide 1 plus the discount rate, to the power of the days after today's date, which is 353 divided by 365 days in a year. Now, before we click enter, we're going to add absolute references to the discount rates to ensure this remains static as we bring the formula across. Therefore, this has calculated the present value of all future cash flows. To find the net present value figure, we add up all of the individual present value figures. As you can see, this gives the same answer as the one returned by the XMPV function. So that's how you can calculate the MPV using specific dates. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.